This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I feel like this one isn't going to go well for, for those watching it. <laughs> this is Carry About a Garbage where we look at a crap thing. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes, Sometimes we're pleasantly surprised. I wasn't pleasantly surprised <laughs> by this one, I tell you what. Were you unpleasantly the thing that you expected to happen ex- happened and you didn't like it? I thought it was going to be bad and it was bad. <laughs> yes, so sure. yes, is yeah. the answer there, yes. I just want to quickly point out that people of a certain generation, even people in my generation. The greatest generation. The greatest generation. <laughs> the diggers. <laughs> yes. Love this film. Ben, mm. who's editing this video uh-huh. together, he's told me it was the first movie he's ever cried in. Wow. Yeah. Because it was bad. No, no. Because he, it was. There's emotional moments in it. It, hit, it hits emotional beats that resonate with with people. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's bad. It's a bad movie. It's a bad movie. Not only it's it, it's a it's a bad movie on its own. It's even a bad movie for a children's film specifically designed to sell merchandise. Okay, sure. Like it, it, I, it, I feel it even fails at that. Right. Bearing that in mind, this is Pokemon the first movie. Absolutely. It also, is. bold. First of all, bold as brass, calling it the first. movie. Well, it was too. They made a lot after this. They still make uh-huh. them to this day because this one was the highest opening day for a Warner Brothers animated film with $10 million or over $10 million. Ooh. There was something called the poker flu where... Oh, people took days off work and kids stuff. Kids specifically took uh, okay. days off school to, okay. to attend Sorry, that was, that, that, that was very presumptive of me to be like, R- grown adults yeah. took, took days off work. I don't hate Pokemon. Uh-huh. I think it's a really novel concept. I was a little bit older, like maybe a couple years off when this came out. So uh-huh. I was kind of like... I've had enough. I'm well, g- Star Wars is my last thing. <laughs> well, I also was. Yeah. Uh, I was a few years out from this. Mm. And so this is this is actually the first Pokemon thing I've ever seen. Really? I've never played a Pokemon game. Okay. I've never good. seen a cartoon. Sure. I'm not against it. Yeah. But I, now I kind of am against <laughs> it, if I'm honest with you. And I've, was there a card game as well? There was a was card game Was it one of those ones where you swap... You swap cards and then if somebody beats you, they take your card you, or whatever? You swap cards and if someone beats you... It's a lot of card swapping. Okay. I'm sure somebody will tell us in the comments okay, below good. exactly Well, guess what? I don't want to know. <laughs> I could look it up. I choose not to. We live in the world of information where I could look up anything I choose to. And I don't want to know, so don't tell me. <laughs> so the, the story of this... Uh, it, it's the combination... He did air quotes when he said story. I didn't. I, I'm pointing. Okay, well, I'm doing them around you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... The story of this is, it's obviously a continuation of the series. Okay. And it's about the clone of a um, legendary, po- legendary Pokemon. Pokemon called Mew, mm-hmm. called, who, who's called Mew 2. And the mm. build-up of this movie is like 10 to 15 minutes of this creature that's created and it's got psychic abilities and it can communicate by a talking, which is unusual for a Pokemon. Okay, I have many questions about it. Can I... Can I do you, <laughs> I'm not I, the guy, but okay, okay, let's go. Some of them can talk and some can't. Yes. So like, okay, but first of all, from what I can gather based on this movie, Pokemon, the series, is a classic slobs versus snobs scenario. <laughs> right. The slobs being Ash and Misty and their idiot friend. <laughs> yes. Side, side note. The sex pest. The, the Side note, this dude's like, they're like, hey, we can't open the Pokemon Center because the nurse has gone missing. There's a picture of her. She's been gone for a month. And the dude walks up to the picture and goes, she's cute. <laughs> she's probably dead. I mean, I mean turns she's out, not. She, turns out she's not dead, but she could have been dead. And he's like, yeah, this woman who's been missing for a month. Yeah, I would. <laughs> anyway, so there's those three. They're the slobs, I take it. And yes. the snobs. Which I won't, because I've seen pictures of the the, the characters. Yeah. But I'm like the the snobs are Team Rocket who are like, ooh, yeah. There's a lot hello. of hello. Anyway, their Pokemon can talk. One of them can, yeah. And Mewtwo can talk. Yes. But the rest of them can only say their no, own names. No, I remember because my brother was a fan of this because he's three years younger than me, uh-huh. and he told me specifically why that one can talk. It's a mutant, and I sure magic. <laughs> yeah, magic. It's a magic a genie's mutant. wish. <laughs> yeah, sure. But I have many questions. Okay, first what of else? All, first of all, so so the premise is you, the Pokemon's. You collect yes, Pokemon. it's dog fighting, Mason. It That's answered what I'm your saying. question. It's it, dog it is fighting. Do- so you just find a Pokemon out in the wild. Yes. You take it from where it lives. <laughs> yes. You put it in a little ball, yep. and then you carry it around forever, and yep. then you train it to fight other Pokemon. Correct. And if you defeat them, you get their Pokemon? Yeah. Do the Pokemon have any say in this? No. It's dog fighting, Mason. It's dog- <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All of this has been broken down by people I bet it has. much smarter than us for decades. Good. There was recently an honest trailer. I haven't watched it because I didn't want to impact uh-huh. this particular video, but I'm sure they talk all about that and similar issues associated with this movie. The the message is so muddled in this as well. Yeah. Because it's we'll a, get to it, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll get to it. Okay, so... The, I have more questions. Okay, sorry, keep going. Okay, so 
So I guess you have a backpack full of Pokemon, right? Yeah, and or a belt. A belt, belt of Pokemon in a Or a, a balls. fanny pack. Right, but let's say you're not outside a fight in Pokemon. Where do they live? In the ball. Forever. I guess you, you don't have a to... you don't have a little thing in your apartment or whatever. Like a pen, like, like a pen in your apartment, like a chicken coop or a small cage. Yeah, because yeah. they're dangerous. <laughs> yeah. I assume. No, well, some are. Yeah, sure. And how do you train them? Just hit them. You hit them. You earn their trust. Okay, good. Uh, you feed them. I assume. All right. Uh, the, the idea is that when you get them, uh, they're initially not very. There's not a good relationship, and you have to build that. Like, yeah, because you've stolen them from where they live, them. probably from their families. Ash and his Pikachu have a bloody, uh, they have a bloody tumultuous electric relationship. Well, one of them, from he the let, one he's got a pet, and he doesn't put it in a Pokeball. Yeah, Pikachu. Okay, yes. right. Because that one doesn't like it. The rest of them, he doesn't care. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. I shoot. Okay, well, that's answered some to none of my questions. Excellent. Carry on. Okay, so it opens though, it, and there's this clone. Pokemon busts out and the scientists are like, we've created you because we want to create the ultimate Pokemon. And Positive he's... note, sick hair. Everybody's got great hair. Agreed. That scientist, that main guy, has just got like this quiff like you he wouldn't believe. He looks great. I wish I had that quiff. But the first set of scientists, he kills. Mewtwo yeah. kills. He's like, I don't want any of this. Right. And then a second like team of scientists or bureaucrats turn up and be like, what if we gave you a suit? And you flew around, and you were fucking awesome, and you shot lasers, and you, you fought for us. And he's like, I'll probably, I'll do that for a bit. And then he <laughs> does, and then they're like, we're actually the boss of you. This isn't, this isn't what you thought. This is not a partnership. And he's like, what the fuck? He gave me this suit, and I'm shooting lasers. <laughs> so he kills them. Yeah, nice. Why are they doing it twice? Why are they repeating that storyline? I don't, I don't know. It's the same thing. It is the same thing. It's true. <laughs> Don't, maybe the, maybe don't the third, tell him. Maybe the third time was the charm. Maybe, But don't tell him you're doing that. Well, then you bring in the third team <laughs> and they're like, hey, Mewtwo, how about this time we bring you armor and you can be cool and shoot lasers and we'll just see you on your way. See you, mates. Uh, unbelievable. We're not yeah. your bosses in this instance. Anyway, then he's like, now I'll take over the world. I'll, not only will I be the best Pokemon trainer, I'll also rule the world. I want yeah. two things. They're not necessarily mutually exclusive, it turns out. You can do both things. <laughs> yeah. Also, you know what? I had it about this, mm. everything, but it's one of those shows where everybody just screams everything. Yeah. But like, <laughs> so, so if we can fast forward a little bit, right, they, Mewtwo invites, somebody invites all the Pokemon trainers to, to, the, to New Island. Yes. And, and they're like, compete in a tournament, see so who's the best Pokemon trainer, right? And then they show up and there's a big reveal and he's like, I'm actually the Pokemon, best Pokemon trainer. And then one dude's like, but you can't be the best. You can't, you Pokemon can't be a Pokemon trainer. Ah, settle down. Just settle down. Think about things. Just maybe they can. Maybe they can. Calm down. He's talking and flying. He's probably better than you. <laughs> right. You weird dude. So anyway, sorry. Uh, here's what I don't understand about Pokemon Battle League. The yes. first one they show in this, a, a random guy approaches them when they're sitting up a picnic table yeah, or whatever. Right. And he's like, I'm looking for Ash. I'm doing some Pokemon battles. You're up for You're it. You're up We're for doing it. it. Is, is Ash considered the best Pokemon trainer? He's, one, he's up there at this point. Okay, right. Because it's like it's X a continuation number of episodes of the into, right, the, okay. into the episode. Okay. But he doesn't have season. the best Pokemon? Uh, well, but he the, hits them the hardest. Well, he hits them the, I guess he hits them the hardest. Okay. He has some of the they're best motivated. Pokemon. They're motivated. Okay. But the thing is, they don't throw them out at the same time. It's not like you wait it's, and see what the other person throws and then you throw one out. Because... I know that some, I don't know much, but I know that some <laughs> can counteract others. Yes. Like different abilities means you pick one. So it should be rock, paper, scissors. Essentially, One, yes. two, three, same time. Yeah. Or someone throws one out and you go, oh, okay, there's that one. I'll throw out this one. I can't think of two examples. <laughs> Pikachu. Versus one that doesn't like lightning. There we go. Yeah. Also, can you try, you have to train your Pokemon. Uh -huh. Can you train your Pokemon to, say, box or stab another Pokemon? Good question. Is that possible? Because none of them seem to, like, bite down on the jugular and rip, rip out their throat. <laughs> I know it's a kid show. I'm aware <laughs> of that. But I'm just saying, if you were a terrible person, yeah. if you are a terrible person, could you do that? I am, and I would. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I wonder. because it, And also, they, all, they understand words. Yes. They, they understand English and complicated concepts. And the ones who like, can use talk... Your, yeah. Use your lasers, and they do. <laughs> and the ones who can talk can understand the other ones. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Man, I'm really looking forward to Detective Pikachu. I'm not going to lie. too. Because <laughs> it can't be worse than this. <laughs> Apparently, it's very fun and good. Mm. Anyway, they get it. like you said, they get a mysterious invite to a mysterious island. And they go there, and I guess the... You're supposed to be thinking, oh, who's this mysterious character, oh, mysterious this character. benefactor who's inviting us to this island? If they hadn't have put the prologue at the beginning <laughs> about the tortured cloned Pokemon who can talk and fly, yep. it would have had me thinking, what is this? Yeah. So maybe when they oh, got... Oh, Derek. 
<laughs> hey, Derek. What are you? Is this I'm the you? best Pokemon. I'm the best Pokemon trainer now. It's me, Derek. What are you? the best player. I'm the best Pokemon. <laughs> Settle down. Derek's talking. <laughs> but you're right. It's not some rando. Yeah. They it's... could have had a flashback from that point is mm. what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. We're all confused at this point, it would seem. But let me clarify some things. Okay. For the viewers, but mostly us. Okay, I'm ready. People hate this, I can tell. <laughs> I <Really>? love it. <laughs> Okay, so there was a number of episodes that would tie... Some people get to things late, is all I'm saying. Pop yes. culture phenomena. We, did, we, <laughs> we got to... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But it should stack up on its own. I agree. You know, I shouldn't have to watch 500 episodes of the TV series so I can watch the movie. Transformers original series, terrible. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, it's I bad. loved it as a kid. Uh-huh. It's bad. It is bad. Okay, so... But it's better than this. It is, maybe. No, it is. No, it is. <laughs> so there was supposed to be a number of tie-in episodes to this one. So you'd watch those and then you'd, you'd step into the theatre and go, it's a continuation of all my favourite characters in oh, this sex pest on the big okay. screen, right? All right. But episode number 38... Yeah, she's hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> episode number 38 contained repetitive visual effects that induced photosensitive epileptic seizures to a substantial number of Japanese viewers, an incident referred to as Pokemon Shock. As oh, a result no. of the seizures... 685 viewers were taken to the hospital. Bloody hell. So those episodes were delayed. The show went on hiatus for a couple of months. Yeah, right. So there was a bit of kind of confusion as to where this was going to fall in the timeline. <laughs> it's kids going to get it's, it? It's after all your kids got seizures, all right? It's set after that. Did you watch that show Drawn Together? I've, yeah, I'm, aware, I'm familiar with it. It was, like, it was like an animated reality TV show where they put together all the weird mm. assorted Pokemon, uh, assorted cartoon characters. Yes. And one of them was a Pokemon that gave people seizures. Okay, right, so, great. So there we go. I get that reference now. I'm sure it's in The Simpsons as well. Yeah, probably. At some point. Okay, a lot of this movie also... Well, first of all, it's about cloning original Pokemon to make better Pokemon. Mm-hmm. That's what Mewtwo is about. Yeah, yes. But the rest of the movie, I would say probably at least 80%, is standing in the same room. Everyone's just standing in the <laughs> yeah. same room, uh-huh. and there's a brawl, and there's some yelling, and there's some tears, and there's some joy. You know, but you it's know, mostly the same yeah. room. You know what this 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 you movie... can go anywhere. It's a cartoon. You I can know, throw right? anything. anything. <laughs> you know what this reminded me of? It reminded me of movies from like the fifties, right? Not because of the Pokemon, but because of like they'll be like, oh, we've opened this door. And there's a long hallway. Let's walk down the hallway. Let's see every frame of them walking down the hallway. <laughs> well, you gotta, you got to get that movie runtime. That's true, yeah. Really there's, drag it out. Yeah. There's a moment where the clones come out and Mewtwo's like, you can't defeat these clones because they're way stronger, which is true. Turns mm. out to be true until he takes away their extra abilities using psychic powers or whatever. And they're like to Ash, they're too strong, Ash. And Ash is like, I'm not giving up. And by that I mean, my Pokemon will still fight regardless. I don't have to do anything. I'm really not doing anything. I, I, I was also confused by, like, what the trainer does. And is the trainer... The trainer's not in the it's fight. It's dog fighting, Mason. No, I get that it's dog fighting. But initially, at, at one point, Ash, like, he throws out the Charizard, which is the... Fiery... The orange dragon yeah. thing, right? And it just shoots fire at Mewtwo. Yeah. Who's the trainer? Yeah. Poor sportsmanship is what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, I understand. Like, if you were at a dog fighting... Yeah. Ring. If yes. you're in a dog fighting fight, yeah, if, the dog fight. If, 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 if we were, if, if we were, if when we go to the dog fighting, if Mason. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, <laughs> if we were going to dog fighting and we were letting the dogs off the leash, you wouldn't go attack the other trainer. No, poor form. I agree. You teach your dog to stab and box. You'd absolutely, which is would. what you should do for Pokemon yeah, for sure. So Mew Mew turns up, the original Pokemon, <laughs> uh-huh. and there's a big battle in the sky. And by that I mean they just form force fields and they just crash into each other yeah. repeatedly. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. while that's happening, yes. the clones of the Pokemon that they've made are fighting each other. Yes. And <laughs> there's this, this... Is my fa- is this this is my, probably my this is the bit that I enjoy. Yeah, well first of all there's a very sappy song it's about brotherhood brothers being brothers. and love and it's like a slow together. acoustic jam about being brothers. And while this is happening, they're just slapping the shit because, out of each because other. Because Mewtwo, as you mentioned, has taken away... He's used his psychic powers to take away all the Pokemon's powers, like the, the good guys and the bad guys. Yes. So they were on an even playing field. Like, they don't, they're not using tricks. They're just using their strength. Mm. And first of all, they all look exactly the same, <laughs> except for Charizard, who has stripes. Slightly the, different The clone colors, has yeah. stripes, but they all look exactly the same, so it's very difficult to keep track. <laughs> but second of all, because they don't have any powers, it's just them... Just literally punching each just other. Wailing getting the each claws other. in, getting the teeth in. Some are slapping. This is what I wanted, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu and Pikachu clone are just involved in an extended slap fight. Yeah, it goes for so long. Yeah. Until one of them but stops. But then it's like, hey, we're brothers and we're also gotta fighting. stick together, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. And the nurse says, Oh, Pokemon aren't meant to fight, not like this. They're all living creatures. 
That's the show. Yeah. This is what the show's about. Yeah. What right? are you talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but there's a reason for this. Not like this. What it is, in the uh, English version, this was changed. Like, the fighting is wrong moral. Oh, right. That was added. In it, the original, the nurse is like, fighting is awesome. We love brotherhood. brotherhood. <laughs> this is what brothers should do to prove who's the superior fighter of the brothers. So the English version was changed to make Mewtwo more evil. He was okay. more nuanced. It, w- it was more nuanced in the Japanese dub, but they thought that will be a bit too much for Children. Western audiences. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. So we'll change it so he's just a flat out villain. So there was that change, which makes the movie, in my mind, incomprehensible in, terms, sure, of, yeah. in terms of what is supposed to be yeah. the message of, uh-huh. this, of this movie. But the other change that they made, and I think this is for the better, the American edit of the film contains CGI effects that weren't included in the Japanese cut. These include realistic looking clouds. Ooh, so <laughs> oh, very swings nice. and roundabouts, you know yeah, what I mean? That's pretty good. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, like it, it amazes me that and I, I guess I wasn't that surprised when we got when we get to this part of the movie but it's like we've all realized that fighting is wrong you've been fighting for years yes. <laughs> with these creatures so slavery's not wrong no dog fighting's not wrong no i've said if. it no i've <laughs> no i've said it but having them physically attack each other that's, that's a step absolute, too far yeah, isn't yeah. it i wonder the thing that i wonder though is if i were to say to somebody hey you've got two options here i mean they're going to slap you i'm going to shoot you with a flamethrower mm. which would you choose the slap obviously the slap they're going to get slapped but that's what this is <laughs> like imagine like one of your pokemon's a fish and you, the other pokemon sets it on fire yeah what you're in serious grief mate. yeah yeah you're in strife you're bloody in strife <laughs> it's a crook thing to do but apparently slapping's too far isn't it it's too far mm Ash gets turned into concrete because uh, of lasers. He tries to jump in to stop the fight. And, he and then all the, by lasers. All, the, all the Pokemon, uh, including cry Mewtwo, cry and he's <laughs> fine. Whatever that yeah. means. And uh-huh. I don't know. What, okay. And then in the American version, which we the one we saw, mm. Mewtwo, who at this point has decided he's going to wipe out humanity, yeah. immediately changes his mind. Yes. And he's like, I oh, actually, crying's good. He realizes yes. that everybody here, like they've learned their lesson. So I'm going to leave. But I'm going to wipe their memories. So they have to learn a lesson again. <laughs> Nobody learned anything, Nobody I Nobody learned anything, yeah. Also, ask first. Yeah. Stop kidnapping people. <laughs> I think if I were Ash, that'd be the last thing I'd say. I'd be like, how about you don't erase my memory? It's a bad thing to do. Ask first. Consent's important. So that's pretty much it. But the, the critical response at the time was it was hated. But it was, again, it wasn't by, for critics. By kids? Critics, no. Oh, kids okay. loved it. Right. On a budget of roughly $5 million, it made $173 million. Uh-huh. And that, in the US, was a phenomenal amount of money for the, for the time. And this yeah, was right. like 20 years ago. Uh-huh. And just so you know, this July, get ready. There is a CGI remake called Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. It's Ooh, the same movie. Oh, hello. 3D. Imagine how those clouds are going to look, you know? Ooh, ah. Oh. <laughs> so good. Like, just like finally, the, Finally, the rest of the film catches up to the clouds. Mm-hmm. That's what I'd say. Love it. Anyway, do you want to end on a fun fact? Yes. Okay. Uh, and we did it, everyone. <laughs> oh, wait, what's the fun fact? Team Rocket mistakes uh, Scyther for Alakazam in a sequence when Mewtwo is capturing the trainer's Pokemon. That is so <laughs> embarrassing for them. Good so, lord. So that is Pokemon, the first but not last movie. It's horrible. I'd imagine the Japanese dub is more coherent. It'd have to be. Well, it is. They say it is. <laughs> yeah, on right. Wikipedia, at least. Uh-huh, sure. But I just don't. I don't see how you could get, look back on this and go, "Yeah, this is good." Aside from like a nostalgia of you having seen it at the time. Uh huh. Well, look, maybe Ben can provide some context. Yeah, Ben. What well, do you think? Yeah, what do you reckon, Ben? Tell Watch us. it again and tell us, Ben. <laughs> Anyway, this has been Caravan of Garbage, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. Uh, we, I'm so, I just feel sad. <laughs> that whole thing. It's a real downer, start to end. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've got something you want us to talk about, uh, it can be a movie, it can be a comic book, it can be a TV show. I'm just anticipating. Like, I know it's a bad idea to put this out. <laughs> and, yet, <laughs> and yet I'm still going to do it. <laughs> Uh, but also we do videos every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday and we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. We're doing Detective Pikachu on this coming episode yeah. on Monday morning. Some uh, versions of Pokemon, the first movie, feature an animated short called Pikachu's Vacation. I did send that to you and then after watching uh, the movie, uh-huh. I messaged you and said, because I, I wasn't going to watch it and I'm like, well, I'm not going to make him watch it if, if I didn't watch it. 
Pikachu, Togepi, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle cross paths with a group of bullies consisting of a Raichu, Cubone, Meryl, and a Snubble. Can you imagine that, James? Can you imagine it? Look, all I know is they sound like dumb words to us. But a lot of the things that I like just sound like dumb words to other people. (laughs) (laughs) Pikachu and his friends and the bullies work together and successfully free Charizard and rebuild the park. Well, now I have to watch it, don't I? Before parting ways when their trainers return and then trap them in Pokeballs (laughs) and stick them in a backpack where they have to live in a void, probably. Awful. (laughs) Makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, have a good week. (laughs) Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bad. Bad. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.